With the melting record snowpack comes a lot of sediment. Some folks may be worried the sediment won't get filtered out of our drinking water, but the experts at the Jordan Valley Water Conservancy District, which supplies water to the southern end of Salt Lake County, say you have nothing to worry about. One of the things that really strikes me is that you know, when we turn on our taps at home, the clean water comes out, we don't even think about it. No, nope. we, we very much take for granted here that we can just turn on our tap, the water will always be there and it's always safe to drink. Managers at the largest water treatment plant in the state in Bluffdale are pleased with how the system is working. So this treatment plant can treat 180 million gallons of water a day. And so we have 16 filters. And our filters are made up of uh, 10 inches of sand at the bottom and 20 inches of anthracite, which is basically like coal. And they're small, teeny tiny pieces of coal. And they have pores in them. So as the water goes down through the filter, anything that's remaining that hasn't settled out in the other part of the treatment process gets stuck in those pores and so it takes it out of the water. So the water that's coming out the bottom is very, very clean. Those filters run about 75 to 100 hours and then we have to clean them. They're excited about new technology being installed right now that will allow the plant to go from treating 180 million gallons of water a day to treating 250 million gallons of water a day without increasing the footprint of the plant. So by adding these plate packs, these plate settlers, we're able to use this existing footprint and get another 75 million gallons a day out of this footprint. Wow. Terry says the whole water treatment system is very complex and requires a lot of infrastructure. She says engineers started planning 50 years ago for the growth we're seeing today and the water resources to keep up with it. It's a precious resource, it's a finite resource, and if we're going to continue to have population growth through our own children and grandchildren who want to stay here, um, we're going to have to be able to supply additional people and that's going to be really important that we conserve and just use that water as efficiently as we can. Now, managers are very grateful for all of us who have worked so hard to conserve water. They say we've done an excellent job. But because the drought has put us so far behind on our water stores, they hope the attitude of water conservation will continue long into the future.